Super Cindy YouTube and get ready to pop off because sure. we're going to acknowledge you. We're going to pop off with you. So let me introduce. Um, oh, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page. Period. S-U-P-A Cindy. <laughs> and make sure you follow us on IG at Let's Pop Off. Lots going on. But yes, let me introduce myself. I'm your girl, Super Cindy. Hey, y'all. Hey. hey. Yeah. This is my girl, Bugatti Black. You already know what it is. It's your girl, Bugatti Black. You busting me, I'm busting back. Brah. Talk to him. And my boy, Big Will. Come on, what's happening? It's your man, Big Will. Not the two, but the one only. Come on, look at me. Talk to me. <laughs> Hear me? My girl, who is the social media content connection. She's yeah. the connect. My girl, Taylor Moon. Woo -woo. Clap it up for yeah. Taylor. Yeah. Give and it also, to we have made in Philly, but he had a flat tire. So Aww. he's on his way. Welcome Aww. to Miami, y'all. And it's pouring outside. So thank you so much for coming to be a part of this live studio audience. Because you know we do not do rain. Yes. And you know when it rains, we look out the window and lay back down. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys coming out here and joining us. Okay. So, mm. what's up? how do we kick off the show every single episode? You already know. You know, you know. <laughs> you already know what we do. Oh, I turned off you the mic. <laughs> Press the button. Oh, God. <laughs> like, you know what we realize, right? You know, turn off the mic. That's, there you go. Live TV. Okay. Live BTS, BTS. Media, whatever, whatever. Get all that. All right. So, what we do is. I forgot you know what, what I just realized. realized. You know what I realized? You know what I just realized? It's been a long day, guys. This is reality, okay? I'm just being 100. Okay. Yes. So, you know what I just realized? And that's where we talk about, you know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. I just realized that in reality, people either show you or tell you who they really are, but we just keep giving them the benefit of the doubt and ignoring what they tell us. And yeah. I'll give you an example. I was at an award show, and there was a lot of radio stations there. A girl who works in a different major city, and I see her every year. We're like, hey, girl, hey, yeah, hey, girl. And then she was telling me the list of parties that were happening that night. from record, And there was a record label party that I was like, oh, I need to be at that party. She goes, okay, I'll call you. You could come. We could all go together. I was like, okay. So we talked a little bit more. And then I said, when we were separating, I said, Girl, don't forget to call me. She goes, I will. And I walked away like, did that she is... just say she will forget or she will call me? She never called me. So she yeah. basically told me what she was going to yeah. do. And I was like, no, she wouldn't do that to me. Heffa. Heffa. All right. Bugatti, <laughs> what is your, you know what I just realized? You know what I just realized? I just realized that women are more accepted as predators what? than men. Mm. I saw a video of a young woman, not even young, she was older, and she was twerking on a boy, younger, way younger than her. And the comments was like, oh, look at his shorty getting it in with, with the mm. older woman. 
And I'm just like over the whole idea of women being more accepted as, you know, predators than yeah. men. Men get yeah. so much flat sure. and catch so much hell Do we? from the whole idea of being with a young woman. But when it comes to older woman with a man, it's like a badge of honor. I don't know what that no, is. No, it's like I've seen men, like stories where a young kid is like, yeah, I lost, my, or like an athlete or a celebrity. Yeah, I lost my my virginity when I was nine from my babysitter or the Ew. family friend. And we're like, yeah. oh, damn, you man. Yeah. You the man. And we keep it moving. But if the tables it's, were flipped, oh, it's it'd be disgusting. hella earth with me. It's disgusting. String them up. String him up by his toenails. You yeah. know what they do yeah. over in other countries. You know, I've seen some things go on. So, yeah, mm. for sure. And, That's what I realized. And, Will, what did you oh. just realize? <clears throat> so extra. I got to be. You know what I mean? Look, look they look lovely. I, ain't I know. They, I know. Do. Like, they throw me off a little bit. They, they, like, they give you the eye? They be embarrassed. Huh? They give you the eye? No, nah, they give you the eye. just a smile. They be smiling. <laughs> but you know what I realized, though? What? Real talk, though. What? What? That. What you just put together is amazing as hell. Mm. Like what you really doing, like stepping out on something that you believe in and not care what nobody talk. I think that is so <laughs> oh, dope. Like for real out. though. Like, you know, like we people all talk about things they want to do, but they be afraid. But for you to actually win out and did all this, like this is amazing. Like it sounds good when we, you know, we're doing the rehearsals, doing all the prepping, but when you come here to actually see this. Yo, this is amazing, like for real, like real talk, for real. Don't make so cool no for real. Like <laughs> seeing this, like really seeing this, like when I know she was like, we go to another place, da, 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 da. you don't really know what to expect. Yeah. But walking in here, sitting up here and seeing, I'm like, yeah. This is yeah, it. This is it. Like, you know, there. so if you have something you believe in, go for it. Don't let nobody Woo! tell you what That's you can't right. do. Cause they just can't do it. But that don't mean you can't do it. So hey. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, whatever it is you want to do, get to it. Yeah. I know that's right, preacher. Part. A little bit. Yeah. So man. many obstacles and, and you have to just jump over them, bitches. Yes. Yeah, you have to. But Taylor, what did you just realize? I just realized that the world is really in shambles because we don't got Wendy Williams no more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I miss Wendy. Yeah. I want to hear allegedly. I want to see her drop her tea. Yes. I want to hear like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> because the last yeah. couple of weeks, it's Ooh. been, I need her investigated journalism. They don't make them like Miss Wendy no For more. For sure. Where the hot topics at? Where uh, and the they? fact that she don't care what anyone thinks about what she says. That, that part. part. That part. Uh -huh. But I think we don't live in that world no more. No, we need Bring Everybody's Wendy. Everybody's a Wendy now. Bring <laughs> Wendy. I don't think they really investigate. I didn't think they do gossip. They don't really put in that work. Wendy like got the did. hard facts. Yeah. Man, bring back investigative journalism yeah. when you got the hard yeah. facts. <laughs> Not assumptions. Not assumptions. The real deal. All right. So y'all ready to pop off? We got our first topic. Here we go. Yes. And that was, you know what I just realized? Okay, now we're moving on. So the first topic, let's talk about it. Talk about it. All right. It. So a video has gone viral, right? There was a woman in a grocery store, mm -hmm. Walmart to be exact, and she was there next to a guy. And when she checked out, her bill came out to $457, and she was like, you're not going to pay for it? And he was like, what? No. And she's like, hey, y'all, look at this bug. We've been dating two, three days, Day. and he got $300 sneakers on, but he can't buy groceries for my one-year-old baby for school. Oh. So we got to thinking, like, mm -hmm. who's in the wrong in that situation? Are we expecting okay. too much? They dated for two to three days. Or, damn, we dated two to three days. Show me how much you like me and buy these $457 worth of groceries. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, I'm throwing it to you first. Talk bro. to me. Talk. Be careful. We're making, you know. Listen, listen. Ladies, is she chipping or not? Let me hear. You got she tripping. She tripping. Oh. Okay. Okay. So y'all started to see where we're coming from, right? The man. Just like, this one situation, so relax. It's it's <laughs> three dates. Three. Okay. And she over here. And look, I wanted to trip the shoe that got like $50 worth of groceries. F it. You know, because you got to show I'll spend a little bit. But 500 she went in there with intentions of, yeah, I'm about to get all this. this about to, them shoes look nice and sad. Yeah, this about to be on him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you didn't even ask him. You ain't talk to him like, hey, you know, think, at least lie to me. Like, hey, things are kind of rough right now. <laughs> and, you know, and let him be like, well, you know, I got I got 150 in my pocket. So, let him offer. You over here just picking up stuff. Oh, Johnny ain't got these little shoes right here. You get Not teddy bears. Come on, you at Walmart and get all the snacks that he ain't never ate before all of a sudden because you think it's on him. Right. Now you got this. Now she got him on camera trying to expose the man mm. three where the man who got you pregnant oh you gave it to him he got you you didn't even get his man now you want him to get it Ooh. buy girls when i get no draws the man who got you pregnant ain't even give it hey man stop playing with us like at this point enough is i don't look at y'all don't hey give a little you get a little i'm just saying you know the rules why we have to like this 
For sure. Give a little sugar, you get a little honey. I'm oh just saying. Gosh. But my, but my whole thing is, but honestly, my whole thing is this: that it's the women like that. Like, if she had intentions of trying to make him pay for it, right? And she went into Walmart with those intentions. Yeah. Why not, like you said? Because fifty dollars is only buying a loaf of bread and and a, and a <laughs> bag of potatoes, so that ain't nothing. But I'm just saying, have some consideration for the dude you just started dating him. But then when women do stuff like that, then guess what? The guys look at all women like that, that, and it messes up for the moms who are just, you know, just doing their thing and taking a man to a grocery store. Talk can to I me. can I just say something? Yeah. Talk to me. Why did you come with me? I just want to know. Why did you decide to come grocery shopping with that me? Part. She Why right. are you in shut up? That you part. had your point yeah, at right. my turn. That you part. Know. Why did you just say, oh, you're going to Walmart? I want to come too. Why are you here if you're not here to share your wallet? <laughs> like, you couldn't stay where you were. I could have done this on my own. Then I would have known my limitations financially. $25. But you decided to come with me, gave me the impression that you were here to help me, and you probably was picking up stuff off the shelf. You probably hmm. was saying, oh, get these Capri Suns. I, I drank the last one last night. Oh, baby, I think you're something like Sunday Delight. Oh, I, don't forget about them granimals. I want to grab those too because I ate those too. Like, come on, boss. Don't go in places that you don't intend to buy stuff for when you're with the woman that you're banging or that you're dating. That's how, I mean, if you don't want a bag, don't come with me. That's how I feel. Oh so, Yana, who's popping off in the audience? It's Shorty Doop. Let me tell you. Yeah, stand up, girl. That is bum behavior. Talk to him. Um, the baby's only one. Why are you already outside dating expecting men to pay? You just had the baby. Talk to him. Um, and if you have a one-year, you probably got an EBT card. And... Um, I just felt like it's just too soon. It was just too soon. That's bum behavior. Okay, clap mm. it up, clap it up for the people. Clap it up, show you why. She know what we're talking about. She kind of messes it, Yana, up here. Or why she got to give you something for you to give her something? You talking to that man. So if a young lady needs help, a lot of times, especially an independent woman, you don't want to hear that you got to you to get something from somebody. So you said specifically, well, for you to get something, you need to be given something. Mm. So why is it that men feel like in order for them to break bread first, you got to open up your legs first? Mm. That's where I feel the way about it. Because back then, mm. when our uncles and, you know, Mr. Charlie and them, when they doing all that, you ain't have to give them none. They going to look out for you anyway. You Who know Mr. what? Charlie Come over here, let me pay for your groceries. Yeah. Mommy friend, Mr. Charlie. Let me pay for your groceries. Yeah. So I can show you what type of man I am. So I can't get in the drawers. Uh -huh. Nowadays, y'all got to twist it. It's the opposite. Like, oh, you ain't give me none. I'm not going to do nothing for you. So you, a lot of times you can't miss out on a woman that may have something going on and that can do it for herself. But we put y'all to test just like y'all put us to Hello. test. Hello. Hey, he felt that test. He felt. Third date. You took me to for 500? Come on. Now, Mr. Charlie, we used to be around Mr. Charlie. Yeah, what y'all didn't know about Mr. Charlie? Them, them Jordans and them shoes y'all getting? Cause you, you know, but your mom can't afford them. You know who's helping you out, Mr. Charlie, but you never see him come around. Mm -hmm. Don't think she'll get it for free. Possibly. She will drop yeah, them drawers. Oh, 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 like Mr. Charlie I, 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 I'm too. not saying you Mr. Mr. Charlie never stuff. got it, but the so, point that I'm making mm -hmm. is you have some men that you have a lot of men that feel like, let me do something for you just because I can. One and two, five hundred dollars to a certain dude is, is change. So just it because. doesn't matter what that ticket was. Some guys you can meet them in week number one and they mm -hmm. drop in a bag, or they might be taking you to dinner and it mm -hmm. might be five hundred dollars. Oh, go ahead, take some for your kids also. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just matter what level you're dealing with. It matters mm -hmm. her approach, and I think it matters who he is and where he's staying with it. Because she, she should never had to ask. Because you know what happened. Yeah. Yeah. You know why I said that? Because y'all don't respect what he how he earned his money. So y'all just feel like you should just give because y'all don't know how he got it. If you understood how he earned it and he really struggled for it, you probably be like, you know what, five hundred is too much. Let me talk to him. Hey, I'm, I, all right, I can give you, I can put a little bit, but you even had that conversation. You just assumed we owe you five hundred dollars for what? Because I took you off for three times. Hey, man, y'all tripping? Y'all losing it? Yes. Uh, who else is popping off in the audience? We got a guy in the back. I want to hear the male's perspective. Thank you. Yes. All right, but all right. So basically, how I feel about it is. It, it's based off like the mentality that y'all come in it with. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's all about the mentality that you come into it with. Like if you came with some, oh, he should pay for this, then he could come at you with the, oh, I want some. You know what I'm saying? So other than that, I feel like you should let it happen naturally. Oh, okay. Talk so to him. That, <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I That's say something? Talk that? to him. <laughs> What's more natural than you riding with me to Walmart? 
Period. I just don't understand. I, again, I'm just trying to understand why she, are you here? She probably had a I car. just don't understand. If I said to you, okay, babe, all right, see you later. I'm getting ready to go to Walmart and go grocery shopping. And you said, babe, I want to ride with you. I'm going to go with you. I kind of feel like that's like, not how it happened. She ain't, ain't got no car. <laughs> she ain't got no car. But I'm just saying, like to myself, like, how did they end up in the car together if the intention was not for him? And even if you couldn't afford 457, you could have at least said, you know what, babe, I got 200, I got 150. Where your EBT where your EBT card at? Shout out to do, uh, Shorty Do Wop for that, cause yeah, we do, we definitely got EBT cards around here. Like yeah, where's your EBT card? I could fill in the gaps. But again, why are you here? She needed a like, ride. Stay home. She needed a ride. And, and the way you keep like in, like visualizing how he got there, yeah. I don't think that's how it happened. Hey, can you tell me one more right here? She bamboozled him to get there. What did she say? Let me go pick up. Okay, let me go. Okay, so so let me go pick up a can of milk for the baby. Come, can you take me to Walmart so I go go pick something up real quick? And then did a whole grocery shopping and then assumed he was going to pay. So what? She's wrong for that. I'm, I'm yeah. Okay. I'm so then if, if that was the case, then why didn't he, being the grown man that he is, when she was dumping stuff in her her thing, say, oh, 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 because I had some guys say, baby, I'll do this now. Like, no, that's all I get. But he wasn't going to pay. In his, in his mind, he was not going to pay. So he didn't care what she threw in there. He's like... Must be nice. Okay, whatever. So he's not going to control what she's grocery shopping. He's assuming that her throwing all that stuff in the cart is because she has it. Mm. So to pay for it. So, uh, yeah. All right, Yana, who else we got? Stand up, please. I feel like these are two people who lack communication and are both lying to each other. I feel like she acts like she got it like that. So he took it and put her to the test. Let me see if you got it like that, which is wrong. Because I feel like he lacked consideration. Like you said, why are you here? Are you watching me grocery shop? Why are you here? You didn't come with the intentions to help me. But she went to the grocery store with the intentions of showing like she got it, but she don't. She don't. So it's just <laughs> two liars to me. <laughs> that far. At least it exposed itself in three days, though. <laughs> and not longer. This delusion, the world that we live in now, is crazy to me. Yeah. Mm. We living in a delusional world right now. <laughs> this world is very delusional. <laughs> uh, well, all I got the advice to say, based on what we just talked about, uh. Just have money in your pocket if you go to the grocery store and don't assume someone's going to pay for you. Or ask before you even go, like, babe, can we go to Walmart and can you cover the cost of how much you, uh, can you help me with? Exactly. Come on, Instead of just mind. showing up and then doing, and, and doing $457, like, come on, come on, lady. She was money. Relax. For her one-year-old child. She, she was looking for a sucker. She, she was money. Several to. seats. <laughs> All right, so clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, y'all. All right, y'all. So now it's part of the show called Survey Says What? What? Ew, ew, ew. Talk to him. All right. A survey found that in new relationships, men say I love you about three months in and women hold out for about three and a half months. Ooh, that's so, cool. so why are guys in such a rush? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. How long before you say I love you in a new relationship? Like, based on your record, what you do, how you move. I w Excuse me, ladies. You could pop off any minute now. Hold on, hold on. You got to get the mic in front of these so, people. I don't know what's going on. So when you're in a relationship, on average, what do you think? Or how long did it take you to say I love you before this latest relationship? Hold on. We're going to talk first. Then we're going to pop off in the audience. Will... You never say I love you, do you? Never. Right? I do, but I gotta wait. I gotta see you say it first. <laughs> I gotta know you love me first. <laughs> real real so talk. Selfish. No, no, real talk. Ladies, I know this happened to you, but I didn't know it would ever happen to me. She what? told me, she was like, I just want you to know I love you. And my mom kept saying, say it back, say it back, but it never came out. I was just looking like, <laughs> and she was like, I know you ain't gotta say it back yet. And I was just like, damn. <laughs> I, I should have just lied because the look on her face was just like she was just waiting for it to hear back and I'm looking like boy I ain't even there yet like damn you already know what did we do well, how we got here what did I did I do it? Did I, do? I, was, I didn't even write that down. Like, this is what you did so they can love you. Like I, I eventually said it, but that first time was very awkward because she just sprung it on me. She was like, I just want you to know I love you. And I was like, mm. what time it is? I'm like, 
<laughs> say it back. Say it back. It's like, like why are they saying it back? What? And she just looking at me like an owl. I'm like, whoo. <laughs> you're a great person. I think you're lovely. You're lovely. But, but Gaddy, what are your thoughts? You didn't even say all that, though. You didn't even. Clean. I will. I'll keep it clean. clean. You didn't even say anything to her. You didn't even validate her. I was, so I was shocked. Shout out to her if she's still living. She I <laughs> Where did you ship her off to? Uh, um, I okay. So in today, like I thought you were gonna, I really wanted you to be like in Miami. No oh. man is saying I love you first. So ever that, sur- that <laughs> survey was not that. in Miami. Either. It's oh, not the so. survey could not have been in Miami oh. ever. Because even here, they don't even like to, first of all, they don't like to call you back. They don't like to text. They don't like to ask you how you're doing. They don't like to see how your day was going. Did you need, do you need anything? They don't like to pop up. They don't like to do anything. It's almost like you're dating a ghost. And so it's like, like uh, as far as saying, I love you, where are we going with this? Um, I have had some situations where I've actually said, I love you first. Um, because I did feel like I le- love that person. But when they didn't say it back, it made me reevaluate the stuff. When, when you when, <laughs> when they when they didn't send it back, say it back. Bugatti heard. <laughs> the little doggy commercial song. No, but you know what? The way I feel. Of, oh, did you finish no, it? Though? No, no. Um, the way I feel about it. It's like when you first start dating someone, right? And I'm speaking from my personal experience. I can't speak for y'all. But the way I feel is like that honeymoon stage, that honeymoon stage, if a relationship could stay in a honeymoon stage, yeah. the world would be a kinder yeah. and better place. Yes. So sometimes we get caught up in that honeymoon stage yeah. that lasts about, what, three months or something like that. Yeah. I don't know how long the honeymoon stage <laughs> yeah. lasts. Six Matt, two months. Weeks. About. But, yeah. but <laughs> I've, said I, I've said I love you first before in a relationship. But the way I put it in my brain is I'm not expecting them to say it back. I say what I feel with no Regardless. expectations of anything in return. Because right. I know you like me a lot. And you'll love you me in a minute if that's where we're headed to. Or maybe sure. I just love you for today. I'm a Scorpio. I don't know. That's maybe why. I might not love you tomorrow. Next week you might do something that gets on my nerves. And I'll be like, wow. Excuse me, I don't love you anymore. Wow. <laughs> you never know what else. You know wow. Savage. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but that's a crazy thing that that survey found guys saying it more but i think the reason why women aren't saying it maybe nowadays as quickly as maybe in the past they would is because of fear because of yes. what the guy will run away once you tell him you love him they're putting on their roller skates and roller skating <laughs> off and they out of here yes, they don't want to hear agree. that i agree so with that. i don't know we got anybody online taylor no, but I got my two cents if y'all yes, want to hear it. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. If y'all want to hear my two cents. We do. Go ahead. I'm a person, I'm not telling y'all I love you. I'm going to tell you I'm a strong like with you. Mm-hmm. I really think you are emotionally intelligent and intellectually spiritual because, I don't know, I feel like I ain't doing that. But I have men tell me I love you and I just like, oh, cool. That's that's all right, bro. You are savvy. You, you, nah, you. I ain't I'm a, Because I feel like love is a very strong word. You just can't use that all loosey goosey. And ninjas these days use it very loosey goosey. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm a strong like with you. Mm-hmm. I like your potential. Mm. You, you cute today, mm. but love? I only love my mama, my daddy, my granny. Love is real different. Love means I'm gonna throw myself in front of a train for you. Mm-hmm, and right. I, I ain't doing that for too many ninjas out here. Mm. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Jack. <laughs> all right, Yana, what are they saying in the audience? Who's gonna pop off? Let's go. People do not value love these days because in my experience, the last couple guys I've dated were telling me they love me like in day three. And I was like, I love you too. Like, I mean, we're just playing games at this point. I don't think they care. Right. They, they don't take, they don't, like they say I love you just to keep you there. You say it back? <laughs> See what I mean? Be like them. Really? All right, pop off. I think we overthink the word love. There are different levels to love. I tell my friends I love you. I say, I love your shoes. So maybe <laughs> maybe when he's saying it, it's not at the level that you think it is. That's where the communication come in. Like, do you love me as a friend? Do you love me like you love your Jays? Do you love me like you love, <laughs> like you love uh, your, your dog, dog? Your, your, your granny? Dog? Like, yeah. what level of love is this? Yeah. 
because just because somebody say I love you, that don't mean I'm in love with you. Yeah. I'll die for you. That means you cool. I love you. Can yeah. I just say something real quick to that? Well, I will just say this. Please be careful in the way that you share sexual intimacies <laughs> with individuals. Because if you're looking me in my eyes and whispering in my ear and you're digging down into my soul... And at the same time, you're telling me that you love me. You want to give me your son. You want to marry me. When I wake up tomorrow, guess what I'm thinking? I love him. He just gave me, he just rocked my world. Y'all got to stop doing that with women. I'm going to tell you right now, because you activate the crazy, definitely, for sure. And then, of course, weak. Weak. Yeah, we, we. You activate the crazy. And, of course, I need you guys to just scale it back a little bit. Every woman doesn't deserve to be dug into like that. Every woman does not deserve to be looked into the eyeballs while you're giving it to her. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> come on now. We try to get you to come back tomorrow. That's weird. We try to get you to come back. No, that's not. Don't try to hypnotize me. I'm going to take it there real quick, though, before you pop off. Don't cast no fucking spells. Got to get you come back, baby. You're in your moment. And then you look down, and they're looking at you. If you don't stop looking at me. Don't cast no spells on me. Now you there like, uh, uh, you Mom, baby, you, I'm like, I'm like yeah, you baby boy in me. They out here baby boy in you, and you casting spells. Hey, my body, my body. You're at me. My body. All right, y'all, you got somebody's gonna pop off. Let's go. Okay, let me. Yes, yes. Let me, this is old school talking right Come now. Come on! Yes. 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 Let me explain something to Play you. the scene. Okay, we talking about this love thing, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, the women, we, you know, we want to say it and we want it to be said back. You said, you told the gentleman you love him, but he didn't say it back, but you know he love you. Mm -mm. You can't make no excuses for them guys. If he want to tell you he love you, he going to tell you. Because he don't want nobody else to tell you. Yeah, I don't care so if he, he tells me or not. I yes, feel the way I feel. Okay, no, you I really don't. I'm okay, well, even, okay, 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 well, you feel that way. But the average person, if you say you, you love somebody, it. you want them to love you, you back. Yeah. That's why you told them. Yes. And now you can't sit up here and say, oh, well, I know he loved me. No, because he didn't tell you he loved you. So yeah. don't make no excuse and say, oh, I know he loved me. Because if he did, he'll tell you he loved you. That part. So don't just make excuses for these guys. If they want to tell you they love you, they going to tell you. Hello. So don't sit there and say, oh, I'm going to wait five more days. And let's try to keep your legs closed. See, that's another thing. We don't want to yeah, date. We want to just, you know, yeah, he fine and I'm, you horny. He horny, y'all, y'all, you know. But you don't want to take the time to find out if he got money to pay when y'all go to Walmart. All you know is you done gave him your stuff. And now when you get in there, you expecting him to pay because I done gave him my stuff. So now I need him to give me $400. No, Hello. you done find out if the man yeah. got tax problems, the man got money in the that bank. Right. If he got child support, maybe he need your help. Yeah. But you didn't trade, you didn't wait to find out. You went on, laid down, gave it to him. Now you want to go pay mm -hmm. for your stuff at the store. It don't work that you got to communicate. You got to find out if he's even able. He might be a good dude, yeah. but right now he's just not able. Uh, but you can find that out why. Because you got to get. Yeah. Because <laughs> <able. laughs> you let him throw you on your back already. Get off your back and wait. Yeah. Get off your back and wait. Yeah. Okay. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. You hear what she said? Yeah. Keyword communicate. <laughs> she didn't assume he'll go buy groceries. She got to the house, she cooked the meal, they talked. Listen, we simple. It, it's not that hard. Hey, babe, hey, listen, I know we've been vibing for a little minute, you know, refrigerated thing. You tell us the truth, we be like, okay, I got you. Yeah, like, we we not that tough. You really tell us the truth. Hey, as a man, you be like, babe, look, ding, 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 ding. okay, okay, I got you. We we not that, like, yeah. the problem, why we acting the way we are, because the expectation that y'all have for something y'all ain't earned. Mm. But if you really talk to us, we really, it don't take that much. People marry we get that on our knees, be like, yo, you my wife. Right. I'm a, why did I ask you to marry me if I didn't want to do all this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so don't be trying to play games and just assume. And yes, I did tell her I love her. It took a little minute, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, no. Because for me, love is like, if it's somebody like, baby, I love you. I love you too. Yeah. But if it's really love for real, talk to me. The main me. thing is, we say, I love you. Uh. Y'all say, I love you too. Yeah. I go lie. I got I got checked on that. Cause I used to text love you. And she'd be like, no, 
You're not saying the right. She's oh, like, where's God. the I? Yeah. I'm like, what is the difference? She like, it matters that you have to put, put I. I. Yeah. I. Cool. You want me to put the I? Here you go. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. I. Because for me, I just feel like I, if I'm telling you I love you, I really mean it. Yeah. Because there's no, I'm not about to t- love your ass. Like, you, you. <laughs> but if yeah. I really love you for real, I'm going to express my. And for some men, they don't know how to express their feelings, but they show it. Yeah. Like, you can call him at 3 in the morning, babe. He pulling up because he love you. Yeah. Y'all be thinking it's because he don't say the word. Watch his actions. He yeah. really do love you. That's what I'm like, y'all don't understand. Like, we love you, but we can't say it because it's weird. Like, every five minutes, I love you. Like, God, like but, but I, hey, I come in. I see you keep struggling to reach that top of the refrigerator. Ain't One day it. you come, you find a step stool. That I see, okay, what's this for? So you can get the top of the refrigerator so you can stop reaching. Yeah. Like, we see things you need. Oh, Will, that's so sweet. All right, all right, all right. I'm just saying it. Like, it ain't that hard. We not that hard. Not, not y'all not making that. it hard. It's yeah. really not that hard. I Especially agree. at this age. Just get, boy, phew, y'all better find somebody. <laughs> <All right. laughs> why every episode you talking about age? I don't know. You know why? Every age, every episode you talk about age and falling in love, it is harder the older it. you get. I saw a meme on Instagram the other day that said, um, you're you're single. Well, how are you gonna not be single if you don't go nowhere? And he just basically said me all day because I don't go. I don't. I'm I'm over going out. I'm over trying to impress people. I'm trying to like I just want to be myself and meet someone. But where am I gonna go to meet how? someone? Cause I don't go nowhere. Public. 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 Get the public. Oh, the damn public. It's, Home Depot. Home Depot. It's well, funny that you said that because I I tell my mom I said she's like you all you definitely always going outside. I said well how am I gonna meet my husband if I'm in the house? You want me to stay in the house and it's no way. Why, my mailman? My <laughs> dear mailman. He gonna knock on my door and say, you know what? I wanna take you out on a date. I'm waiting. Mailman, if you're watching, I'm waiting. Mailman. What are you doing with the mail? Well, let's go see what, what they're saying online. Taylor, what are they talking about? Well, we got somebody in here confessing they love to you and they say, I love you, Cindy. Oh! Come on. Who is it though, Taylor? You can see. What's the name? What's the name? <laughs> it's DJ. I'm desperate over here. I'm alone. <laughs> it's DJ Quest. DJ Quest said he loves you. Oh, oh, come on, Quest. Come on, Quest. That's my boy. <laughs> Dan, Miss Shoshana Taylor said, yes, teach him old school. We love our old school teaching here. Yes. And Cindy, they said you can meet your man at Whole Foods, the mailman, Publix. They said you can meet them at Ludus, Escrow, Fillers, Pregama. They're giving you a list. Yeah, hey, we'll you meet God. your man. Make sure you screenshot that yeah. list. <laughs> hey. I'll put my oh, wig on and go out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Just, to, just to, to attest to that, it's a lot of Instagram posts and TikTok posts where women and men are giving up areas and specific places where yeah. people are now going to find love. Like there are there are supermarkets that people are going into. They're putting like the home pineapples people. upside down. If you're single, no, that's swingers. You're, that's swingers. Oh, yeah, that's swingers. That. That's a swinger. That's swingers. Okay, my bad. Don't get caught up in that. That's swingers. Take it. We're desperate. Let's go. Right. Don't get swinged. Me and Cindy gonna be at the one with the swingers. Don't be caught up like that. Single pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single. It's three in there. You gotta try something new to get something through. Hey, and ladies. <laughs> Ladies, offer your mailman some water. The meter man who's oh, checking the meter, yeah. offer him some Gatorade. Hey, would you like something to drink? Yeah. You never know. That That's might a be good the city job. That's hey, a man with good job and benefits. That's a county job. And you, you over here overlooking. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. Hey, you would you like some water? Oh, I appreciate that. Hey, what you yeah, doing tonight? True. So listen, be, be kind. That's true. Be kind. That's true. That's a good nah, one. No, but real talk, that was um, survey says what? what? And, you know, I think when you're ready to say I love you, say it. Don't feel no pressure and don't say it expecting anything in return. It was that my part. point. Yeah. That part. Like, say it because that's what you feel. Be honest about your feelings. Who knows? When you say it, they might be open and be like, you know, I really like this girl a lot or, or this guy a lot, whatever. Or this person. And, yeah, this person a lot. So just be honest with your be feelings. Be honest. Be honest. Yes, I agree. Clap it up. Clap, clap it up. It up. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, <laughs> all right. So, this is the part of the show called Relation Tricks. Oh, Trick and hole. Here we go. All right. So, you and your partner, the person you're with, have a disagreement or an argument, right? You go discuss it with one of your homegirls, your homeboys, or whatever, someone you trust. But when you go talk about your relationship stuff going on, do you talk to your friends that are single or do you talk to your friends that are in relationships? 
Like, should single people be giving people and relationships advice? Mm. What are your thoughts, guys? Mm. You want to go first? No, you go. You got it. (laughs) (laughs) I am the product of a, I'm a divorcee. I am a product of listening to people who were single outside of my relationship. And that's why I'm divorced. I do not, and I'm being very vulnerable. As a Scorpio, we are not very vulnerable, but yes, my babe. (laughs) We are not very vulnerable, but I think that my story definitely needs to be told because people do it all the time. You talk to your friends, you talk to your, even your mom, your dad. Like when you're married, the person that comes first is your husband or your wife. That is the person you should be talking your problems with. If y'all can't talk at that point, wait. Take a break, come back to it. But talking about it outside of your marriage, regardless if it's a single or a married individual, I think that that brings unwanted opinions, unwanted advice, Um, even if it's sound judgments, even if it's somebody that you believe makes really great decisions in their own relationships, their relationship is not your relationship. You need to seek counsel, regardless if it's whoever you believe in, whether it's Yahweh, Jesus, Buddha, whoever it is. Meditate upon that thing because individuals will use their own experiences to steer you and to guide you. And those things may not apply in your life. And I am absolutely a product. I even called my ex-husband and said on his voicemail, I never should have divorced you. Because at this point, there is absolute, I have not won after having that divorce. I have lost in every single thing that I've done as far as relationships are concerned. And so I believe that that was the person that I was supposed to have been with had I not listened to outside relationship advice. Mm. That's a big loss. Yeah. That's a good Yeah. Got me up here. Ooh, the Lord. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, Will, <laughs> do you get advice from your single friends or your friends in a relationship when you're in a relationship? Honestly, I only have one single friend. All my friends are married. Wow. Mm. I'm on my way there. Okay. Like, but when I was the single friend, I used common sense. How you feel about it? Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not the kind of person who's going to sit here and blow smoke up your tail. Yeah. How do you feel about her? Mm-hmm. Are you messing up? Hey, I know we were young. When you were young, you do a lot of ignorant things. Yeah. And I'm a quick story. I had a friend. He's married now to her. She broke up with him because he kept doing ignorant stuff. He pulled up to my house and he gave me pouring out his house, his heart to me. I'm like, you're in the wrong place, brother. <laughs> I'm like, you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You love her. If you're going to go back over there and mess with that girl, just know, don't mess it up. Mm-hmm. If you do, don't go back over there. Mm-hmm. She'll yeah. give you chance after chance after chance. If you know you're going to go back, do, don't go over there. Mm-hmm. But if you Leave know you're you about to go over there and do right. They've been married. They've been together 20 years now. Dang. You know what I'm saying? So, like, oh, good advice, you got to have, like, you got to be for real sometimes. Certain things you got to take for real. Like, mm-hmm. relationship is hard, as we can see. Yes. And social media, don't make it easy. And then, I know you always say I bring up age. And this is why. <laughs> when, no, and I'm going to tell you why, because I had to tell you why. When I'm you're young. Joking. The aunties. No, no, it's not aunties. <laughs> when you're young, you're outside all day. Yeah. So, the opportunity to meet people is always convenient. Yeah. The older you get, you slow up. You're like, I ain't going outside. Yeah. I'm chilling. Yeah. So it's like, it gets harder. And then you go through a lot of life situations mm-hmm. that change your mind about relationship. Yeah. So yeah. now you at this age, you want the love, but now you're like, nah, nah, nah. You ain't doing this. You ain't got this. You ain't driving this. You ain't working. Duh, 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 duh. You ain't had those kind of issues when you were 20. That's you were just so easy true. to fall in love. <laughs> you were so happy to be in love. Like, I got my boo. I got my girl write stupid love letters. I wrote a bunch of them. I got a folder full of love letters. <laughs> and sometimes I'll be like, see, if you would have played your car, right? Because even I do that. Like, yeah. and we all do that. We all messed up in relationships where we ended it too early yeah. or we did something we had no business. And sometimes you think back about that one person, you're like, damn. Damn. If I didn't do that, we, be you know what I'm saying? We would be married. We would have our kids. Because me, I got one and I didn't want to have another until I was married because I don't believe in raising kids in separate homes. Right. I want to have my kids. We got to, this is a family. This is a team. Yeah. And my kid over there, I'm over here. I get to see him. Every time I see him, he's like, he got two inches tall. What we got going on here? Like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> I for me, yeah. like, you got to, like, it, we got to take it seriously. And if we're not going to take it, leave him alone. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's yeah. serious. Like, I'm wasting time. You know, we yeah. wasting time and we always argue about stuff that's pointless. You yeah. know what I mean? I agree. Good, good. Well, I'm sorry. Good stuff. You know, but the thing too is that, like, it's so sad when you see, you know, someone who's older still playing the same stupid games. Like, 
sir, you're not tired. <laughs> like literally, sometimes I'll go out and I'll go like to a place where people used to always go out. Like I, I, I see the same people that I used to see 20 years yeah. ago in the club, yeah. but now they got gray hair, they're older, and they're still moving like they're 22. I'm mm-hmm. like, the hell? Aren't you tired? Right. Right. You're not sick of being like a loser? Chasing people's daughters and stuff. Me a loser because he still looks the same as 20 years ago. <laughs> still looks like 1996. <laughs> With the polo shirts. <laughs> For real. Yana, you got anybody? Where's Yana at? Yana. Oh, we got somebody over there. Over there. Over there. Uh-oh. Over All right, there. go ahead, Yana. Hey, y'all. So, hey. honestly, my secret friends be having great advice i don't know i have a friend named karen she be giving it to me i don't know like i have a friend named shayla she's gonna give me the rundown she's gonna let me know if i'm tripping i'd be tripping 99.9 percent of the time (laughs) but at the end of the day it's like sometimes they be knowing stuff that i don't know you know what i'm trying to say like They've yeah, been in great relationships. Like, Just because it ended, that don't mean it, no it ended knows. bad. Like, right. something could have happened, like, within them. You know, like, maybe I need to work on me first, then we can get back together. But my friends give good advice, and I'm going to always call them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always call them yeah. because you just never know. I'm never going to call, like, nobody else but maybe them, too. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because yeah. they, they've been through stuff that I have been with relationships. I'm not a relationship type of girl. You know, I'm the type of girl that will say, like, I love you in three days. You know what I mean? Oh. I don't, like, that's just who I am. But, oh. hey. Let me respond. Come on. Talk to mm-hmm. So, I get, oh, we got people in the audience that want to pop off. So, yeah, just so. to attest to that, like, at the same time, when I say, like, you don't want to listen to everybody's advice, if there's individuals in your lives that can center you as an individual, not speak to your relationship. Because I think that that's the difference. You don't want somebody that's giving you advice on the actual relationship. You want somebody that's giving you advice on your behavior. Yeah. What it is that yeah. you're doing, what it is that yeah. you don't do, who you are as a person, how they know your characteristics, yeah. those types of things. And I think that that's what makes the big difference. Yeah. yeah. For real. Yeah. And like going to a friend for advice who you know that friend is trifling. Mm-hmm. Why go to that why friend? Go to the ones that have a brain. That's and, what you look for. Yeah. Yes, man. So Taylor, you are married. And not to wish no nothing. Well, you're human and you guys argue. So, or have a disagreement. Who do you go to like to talk about it? Single or your married friends? My a a combination of both, but Mm -hmm. most because the majority of my friends are single. I'm the only man. I'm the token married friend, Mm -hmm. and they will talk me over ledge. They be like, "You wildin'." They will be the ones that like, "We're not gonna pop his tires." We're not going to sign him up for Scientology. We are him, not going to call his mama and say he raised a bitch. Like, we're not going to do that, friend. Let's go out. Let's do a, let's, let's call. Take let's your mind re- off of it. And also reevaluate the situation. Because, like, she could piggyback it. My friends know me. I'm mentally unstable. So the little, the little devil on my shoulder be like, I admit it. The little devil on my shoulder be like, he think you a punk. Prove you're a gangster. <laughs> and I can't be like that because he's a human, too. Right. So I go to back... When I ask for advice, I want, I'm not really asking advice per se on my relationship. It's how I handle the situation. Yeah. Because I know that how I can be. I just get lost in the trance and I just want to do anything that I want to do. And that's not pr- proper to do with when you're dealing with somebody else who has feelings and emotions and you're not thinking about not my actions, what they do to him or yeah. to them or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. Because I know that I'm going to cut your ass out and then I expect you to be like, baby, I love you. That's and good. that's unrealistic. That's good, Taylor. Mm-hmm. The married one. We got, <laughs> people, we got people in the audience. Yana, a few people. Mm-hmm. So um, last week, so I left my ex-husband. We were together 10 years. When I was going to leave him, I'm actually his kidney donor. Oh. And you didn't take it back? And all the married, he didn't do nothing wrong. I left him. All the married couples, my brother, his wife, everybody, try to work it out. Try and and now that I realize, I'm about to cry, because I was like, all my singles friends, like follow what you whatever, follow your heart. But last week, he, you know, he, I, um, I got laid off from my job a month ago. That man still called me and check on me, and I realized like. Yeah. Alright, be like Elizabeth Taylor. Spin the blog. He already remarried. Fuck her. Yeah. Oh, See, he's he's remarried. But he still Sorry. checks on me. And so I just say Go this man. to say to all the married couples, listen to your married friends. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Come on, man. Oh. Oh. Y'all, yeah. lift, y'all lift her up, man. Y'all right lift her up. Lord. Wow. We love you, shorty. We love yeah. you. We 
we got you, girl. First of all, we can break her leg. Um, yes, bless, bless you, bless you. God bless you. <laughs> we can break her leg. Okay, watch this. When you have a friend, oh, I'm gonna tell you what I do. If somebody comes to me and say, "Oh, my man doing this," and I'm and he's doing that, whatever to me, I'm gonna ask them this question. I'm gonna say, "If I came to you and I said, um, me and my man having problems, he's beating on me, he's not, he's spending the money." Uh, in funny places, he's not coming home. Uh, uh, what you think I sh should do? Kill him. And I, I tell her, <laughs> if I come to you and I ask you these questions, what would you tell me? And they say, well, girl, I tell you to leave him. I say, well, take your own advice. Huh. Huh. It's that. It's that when when things are going south in a relationship. We're quick to give advice like that. Like, girl, you are better than that. Huh. You don't deserve that. You are strong. Walk away. But when it's us, we keep repeatedly taking yeah. crap, mm -hmm. crap, mm -hmm. crap, yeah. and more crap. You it's hard to take your own that. advice. But it's different because, like, like I said, I'm the married friend in my in my friend group. And when they come to me, I'm like, I'm not gonna tell them to leave. And so I'm like, girl, you like you wilding out or chill out. The like things, certain certain situations take time. They gotta marinate like chicken. Like you gotta see what's gonna come out of it. If worms come out of it, then you gotta throw it away but it's sometimes that the season is get the smelling good you gotta fry that and eat and you Clean. just have, like <laughs> it's period so like oh when they saying he be like prime example like she said my man beating on me he's spending my money i'm gonna be like girl stab him because i'm gonna be right there picking up the, <laughs> picking up the blood cleaning the crime scene because i don't want you to be like i'm coming to you with a black eye let's go we ride at dawn we about to be i want you to do do for me what i do for you because i ain't gonna see you out here looking crazy because i'm not gonna be out here looking crazy Hello. period mm. All right, you pop it off? Yeah. I think it matters of who your friends are, and your friends are who you are, and it's just an extension of that. So I feel like, although I'm single, I do have friends, you know, people that come to me for relationship advice, and the first thing I would say is, girl, you have something that I don't have. So what are the things that you like? Write them down. What are the things that you dislike? And if your dislikes are more, that means you're in a situation that you need to reevaluate. Yeah. I'll never tell somebody to leave their relationship. Now, there's a few things that, yeah, it's like, listen, I need you to reevaluate what you have going on. Is he addicted to something? Is he, um, and that can be anything, gambling. I mean, it could be addicted to porn, sex. Is he beating your ass? Is he doing this? Yeah. There's certain yeah. things. Yeah, there's certain things where I have to be real with myself with the advice that I give to my yeah. friends because it's not something I will tolerate. But when you know your friends, you know who to call for the things that you need to hear. Yeah. And you should have friends that you can call that you know going to tell you about yourself first. And it has nothing to do with that man. Because you're calling me and he's not my man. He's yours. Mm -hmm. My advice is going to be about you as a person and how you're going to deal with that person. Rather, I'm single or not. I mean, right. all my friends are single. But even my married friends that do come to me, my advice is always evaluate the situation and you need to see if this is something that you want to deal with because I can't tell you to leave or not leave. Yeah, I, right. I can't tell you when your cup it's is full. It's a matter of who your friends are. And you I can't tell you when your cup is full because like, you have to be sick of it. You can be sick and tired of being sick yeah. and tired. I can't be sick and tired of for you. <laughs> now what I'm going to tell you is I told your ass once, I told your ass twice, I told your ass thrice. You don't listen, don't don't call upon the phone. Don't call the phone and tell me this no more because you have to go through experiences. If you like to fall in the same hole over and over and over again, I'm going to be there like, girl, come on. Let me yeah. dust you off, friend. Let's go. <laughs> that and that's what I'm here for. Be that. Mm -hmm. If you're calling me with the same thing again, now you need to reevaluate where you are with it. It's not about my advice. It's mm -hmm. about what you, you don't hear, what you're you going to do about what it. What Caribbean people say, you so, don't hear, you shall feel. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So thanks. Clap it up. Clap it up. Yeah. Relationship tricks. So now it's part of the show. Where we get go hot off the swipes. Taylor lets us know the hottest things on the swipes, latest news, latest everything. So what's going on now, hot off the swipes, Taylor? So hot off the swipes has been diddy fied all week, all day. Day, every day. It's all types of branches. So the first one is Mimi Foster claims her alleged dating show that she had coming to BET got jeopardized because of her Stevie J's relationship to, D to Diddy. It messed everything up for a lot of people. Then before. Mm. Mm, then we got Rihanna reveals that it, she, huh, excuse me, Rihanna reveals that she will take 
time to release her new album. We were ready. We've been waiting time. We've been over it. I just like ASAP, her and the baby. Yeah, I don't even it. care about her music no more. more. We've been waiting forever. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Like, we've been waiting forever. Like, you done had two kids, no got more. a man, and we and no okay. album. Girl, work, 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 work. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> then they said on the raid when they arrested Diddy that they found a thousand bottles of baby oil up in the premises. <laughs> what y'all think about that? Because who need a thousand? That's why people are ashy, because he so, got all the baby oil. Just to update even that, that <laughs> he was in um, the courtroom this afternoon in New York again trying to appeal the fact that he didn't get a bond yesterday. Mm -hmm. and, and his lawyer claimed that the mm -hmm. conditions were Why too terrible. Leaving? I thought that was jail. That's what I'm about um, to say. That. <laughs> and so, take that, take that. So <laughs> my whole thing is he was denied bond again or yeah. bail again. Yeah, was the again. Line? Yeah, and, bond again. And the passports and, got revoked from him and all of his... Yeah, his, they took all the passports his, from the kids and everybody. Even the baby. But my whole thing is, is that they didn't give him bond and his trial is like... I mean, the court hearing is the like September yeah. 20, it's like the later. end of the month. Yeah. End of the month, yeah. yeah. So sit well, and marinate sit and in think at. about what you allegedly sit in did. Sit in that, sit in that. Yeah, I allegedly. just, the only thing I have to say is that I, I totally understand I'm not for any of the things that he's being alleged to have done. The one thing that I just have to make clear is that as a black man, he's being denied bail, bond, whatever it is, for the allegations, and there are the YT people who have mm. been alleged and you know indicted upon, indicted for those same charges mm -hmm. that were able to bail and bond out. Mm -hmm. There is a major difference or a standard that is um, pressed upon us as a people. And even though we don't agree what he did, the one thing that we need to do is change the way the judicial the judicial, judicial system. system. Mm -hmm. A little tongue tied with that. Um, um, takes. You know, to us as black people, that's really all I have to say but, about that. But I, you, you know what? But it's not that's what I'm saying. Say. Nah, like, but you but I gotta based on what um, Bugatti said. The thing is, is that some of the charges when they raided his homes, they found AK guns that with the serial numbers scratched uh, off. It goes drugs, a lot further drugs. than that. But that's so what I said. You can't. It's have, not just the, like the what we say. Yeah. Whitey got free and blah blah. Why, no, black people cannot. So you think the TV, black people so cannot? So you think, no, so you think, do so you think white folks ain't had drugs no, in there? No, no they no, got their stuff. Ex they, a lot of times, white. No, I know you. Don't, I know you. Don't, I know no, no, go ahead. Talk. But white people have are afforded a lot more exceptions when it comes to what is exposed to us media wise versus what's exposed to us for African Americans. Hold on. And there are some things about the cases for mm -mm. a lot of white people that we are not privy to that could have turned and affected the whole out the, the whole outpouring of the case. When it comes to us, expose them. Whatever they had, whether it was a, a, a magazine, it was a this or that, that Whatever they want to, they want to pin us to the cross. When it comes to the other color, it's a whole different. Tender him with kid gloves. Mm, I don't know. But black people need to stop trying to participate in snow roach behavior. That is not your no. lane. Not no. snow roach. Snow roach. No. Can you no. can? No. What's a snow roach? YT people, the mayonnaise no. militia. They the 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 the, 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 the white Vikings. They got names. Black people need to stop participating. No, we don't. Yes, we do because when it happens to you, we don't have the same actions. Stay in your no, lane. Do not participate in snow roads. What's our lane, bro? We don't, we don't have that privy. That's a, no, it's bullshit. We don't have that privy. Bull That's why you got caught with a thousand bottles of baby oil. That's bull crap. Because if snow roaches ain't buying baby oil, <laughs> and that you're too. creating segregation when you say things like that. There's no such thing as a lane for a white person or a black person. Uh oh, there's no such thing. They ready to pop on? Let me let me let me straighten this out. Straight yeah. Come on. A lot of times it goes by your priors. A lot of black men they go to jail for Miss Helen Reefer, little small things. And the white a white man and a black man go to jail for the same thing, but the black man go to prison is because the black man got priors and the white man don't. So yeah, the white man can go uh kill somebody and get probation and the black man going to prison, but the black man got priors and the white man don't. That's why a lot of people don't understand. Why black people always going to prison? Because we, before it got to that point, they had all these other little small charges that the state look at first. Or oh, what is his priors? That's the first thing they going to say. What is the priors? And they see where he was trying to feed his kids and he got caught selling some drugs on the corner, but he's trying to feed his kids. And then he sold some mangoes, but they added up. 
So they not gonna just look, <laughs> look at that. Oh, yeah, because I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen somebody come to court for selling mangoes and went to prison because he had priors. Mm -hmm. So we always think, oh, be black. No, it's not that. We go to jail more often, and they go in the state uses that to send the black people to prison. That's mm -hmm. why it looks like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Taylor, what are they saying online? So online, I got a few things. Shorty do up, they up in here saying that man still love you. Go get your man. <laughs> and also, and Tony, a Antoine Edwards says that Diddy called a witness 57 times in one day. Diddy was online discussing that Cassie video, so he's automatically wrong there. And Diddy still intimidating people. So he, in other words, online saying he grits. He's done for. Shouts to Twan the Don over there. Okay. <laughs> but you know what I gotta, as we wrap that up, you know what I gotta say? I'm gonna say one thing, like Childish Gambino said, this is America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Welcome. We're not surprised. Why are we acting like we're surprised? We're not surprised. We're not. For real. That's no. crazy to me. No. It's like that. It's, it's a trailer country. park. It's, yeah. it's a trailer you park. Can't believe. All right, y'all. So we're going to take, we got to take a big, big, because we, we got a lot of loss recently yes. since yes. the last episode. Yes. So I want to give like a quick moment of silence for Rich Homie Kwan, mm. for Frankie Beverly. Mm. Mm. And James Earl Jones, mm. the voice. Let's give a quick moment of silence right now. Shh, quick moment of silence. Oh my God, and Tito Jackson, sorry. Yes. May they rest peacefully. Prayers to their family, all their fans. And you know what? Shouts to everyone who helped put this together. This Woo! Let's pop off. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page right now. S-U-P-A-C-I-N-D-Y. Shouts to the Project Hub. Shouts to Abyss, where we are right now. Um, DJ Shardy doo JR Photo for taking all the hot pics. Um, Opulent Catering. They're back there selling food. Make sure you go get some chicken wings, some french fries and all that, because that's what I'm about to do. Same. And make sure you follow us on IG at Let's Pop Off so that you can stay connected on the next episode when we'll be here again. It's only going to get better and better. Trust me, because I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not playing. <laughs> Stop playing with us. Huh? I just want to thank all of y'all. Shorty, I don't mean to put you on blast, but can you go up there and play my theme song? I got to hear my song one more time. <laughs> <laughs> and shouts to our co-host, Bugatti Black, Ooh. Big Will. Clap, 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 clap it up, clap it up. Taylor Moon. Hey, y'all. Y'all can see. And Made in Philly, he had a car situation. He don't know how to change tires. <laughs> wow, that's tough. Why would you say that? So hope that he stays safe and he'll be here next episode. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, for following our movements, for supporting me. I appreciate you all. And let's go show the doo off And clap it up, clap it up. Hey, 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 hey